Hey guys, in this lecture I'll show you the major updates that Videoscribe has added in its latest version 2.3.7 that has been released last February 2017. The first major update is that Videoscribe 2.3.7 is available in English and Spanish languages. There are two places from which you can change your language option. After opening Videoscribe, you will be taken to the login screen. Below the login box, you will see the language setting menu. You can choose between English and Spanish using the minus and plus spinners. As you can see here, the language of the layout has changed. You can also change the language after logging in. After you have logged in, you will be able to change this option via the default settings menu in the bottom right hand corner of the project screen. Open it, then you will find the language option here. To implement the changes, make sure you press the tick button. OK, the second major update in Videoscribe 2.3.7 is in the process of importing PNG or JPEG images. In the version's prior 2.3.7, after selecting the PNG or JPEG you want to import, you used to see a choice of six options for the way the hand will draw your image. Then you select the option you wish to use by clicking on it. This will add the image to the canvas. But now, in version 2.3.7, that no longer exists. Instead, you would get the screen with only two options, either reveal, which is the hand kinda like scratching the image on the canvas, or the sketch option, which is the hand drawing the image. In case you don't like the sketching option here, you still have the choice to convert your PNG or JPEG to SVG using Inkscape as I showed you in this course. Ok, last major update is that the new hand option become easier to find in hands menu. This used to be a blank square in the prior versions. There are other updates that they have mentioned like adding more new images to the library, image libraries load faster now and that you can open the base library projects with a double click and that the auto saves should be working faster in this version. I hope you found this lecture useful. Thank you for watching.